channel my name is Ekshit Sahar today i am going to show you what's inside a dvd writer so from the down we can see some screws so now let's unscrew them and see inside the dvd writer and i am going to show you how does the dvd writer motherboards looks like Guys, to open this cover, we have to take out this shutter. To take out the shutter, we need a needle, and we have to put the needle in this hole, and then it will come out. As you can see. Now we need to. Now you can take out the whole mechanism as you can see This is the mechanism So guys let me show you how this whole mechanism works First let's take out this cover here you can see the mechanism which open the dvd writer here it's rolling and this is a small water which unlocks it out and this is the valve which there is a lock here which we press and it comes out this is what a needle do so now let me show you what this all this is the motor which runs the dvd and this is the writing lens which writes on the dvd and reads the dvd and these are some clips which are connected to the writing lens they can be opened so now let's see the back side over here This is the filling water which runs the DVD and we can open the motherboard here and you can see this is a small motor and this is the shaft which goes like this and over here you can see there is a writing lens and this motor runs the shaft forward and backwards which obviously do the writing lens backwards and forwards to read the full dvd so now let's remove these two screws to take out the whole mechanism we need much smaller screw so now let's open this screw Under this screw is some stock and you pull it out and the full mechanism comes out. There we go. There's one more here which 
is attached to this. You can open it from here. Then you go. This full mechanism is out. This is the writing mechanism. And this is only for this. This contains for this motor. Like I tell you, this motor runs to open this out and in. Thank you guys for watching my video. Subscribe and like for more videos and press that bell icon button. Bye!